Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen. So we have page not found here because that's what we told um, our function to write if it doesn't find the view that we're looking for. So let's see what really happened here. This is the, let's follow things from the top. So marked single is the controller for this one marked single and let's look at the view that it's um, that it's showing this one is marked single marked dash single so let's follow that so let's go to marked single view uh, there we go marked single dot view dot php okay and then in here for the view, this is the view that we are looking for, marked single tab view, which is right here, marked single tab view. So this is the one that it can't find, which is this one. So I think the mistake here is um, considering we are using the, this function here, uh, marked single view. This function here looks for a file that has got dot ink at the very end so let's rename this file to to include dot inc like that dot php so let's see if that solves the problem so let's refresh and i think it does because it's taking a while to load and there we go okay so at least now we can view the information here now you can rearrange this information for example you may not need um, to see these lines here the score can be can remain as it is but maybe we may change the answered and uh, maybe 100% marked 100% answered 100% marked you can you can change something that you want anything that you want from here to suit your needs because this is the final view here. However, what I want to change really is, let me go into the, the file here and look for any inputs because we definitely know that we're not going to need any inputs from here. So if there are any of those, we can remove. So for example, the form here, we don't definitely don't need the form because we're not going to be submitting anything here. So we might as well make the code a little bit leaner by removing everything we don't need so for example this if not marked then we show the save marks like this we're not going to need this so let's remove all this up to the its own end if so out of here and of course since we removed the closing uh, form tag let's remove the opening tag as well so let's look for other parts that say if not marked um, mark if not marked so you see here this says if not marked but this only shows up this file should only show up if things have been marked so there's an if statement here where is the and if there's else so the else is what should remain but this other thing should go so we don't need these inputs here so all of this should move out up to the else statement here there's another end if which we will not need as well since we've removed that if statement there so let's remove that as well so this just leaves the teacher's mark and what we want to view there so a similar thing here if not marked and then there's an else statement so we just leave the contents of the else remove the if itself like this okay save good so are you sure you want to remove this test from submission at this point we don't need this um, we don't need the auto mark as well uh, we don't need set test as marked these are all redundant so let's remove the whole script tag completely from this so save it and let's see what else we can remove to make things a little bit leaner so anything that has input has no place here 
So let's go up here. Uh, let's see. Image. Okay. I think we are good at this point. It seems everything is just to display information. So let's refresh. We shouldn't see any differences. And as you can see, no differences whatsoever. So the design is entirely up to you. You can... Um, maybe all this information can do well to be inside a table that's up to you what you want to do so what we want to do now is to bring uh what we see here into the profile section of a student so let's go to the profile student and uh, let me click on tests so right now we're looking at these tests here but we want to replace this with what the user, only the tests the user has taken. So we have to go to profile.php controller, okay? And since we want to get what's similar to what's on marked here, then let's go to the same marked controller. So up here, uh, marked controller, there we go. So since we know that uh, the student is not an admin, so we can ignore this section here. And we know the student is, will be obviously in the else here. So we might as well copy this code here up to there. But the thing is, um, this code is a little bit complex because it goes it bits around the bush here a little bit because it goes to um, it goes to see which classes the user belongs to, and then it gets only the classes from uh, the tests from those classes. However, in our in our case, we can uh, use a shortcut because if we go to our table, this is answered tests, right? all the tests because we just want to show the tests that have been marked right we can easily just go to this table and check which tests are marked and belong to our current user so we just need the user id and we need the the marked and submitted to be one and one and user id then we are good so this is what this part is doing here because it's getting all submitted test texts tests sorry so let me just copy this part right here copy let's go to profile.php now i don't want to lose any code just in case things don't work out i want to uh instead of delete let's uh, mute so let's put that commenting thingy and comment out over here Make sure you don't comment out the closing bracket of this if statement. And uh, let's paste our data here. Let's do this, okay. All right. Okay, so we don't need this for each loop at all. Marked array, we need if count, we don't need that and the for each. So let's remove those two and equally remove the closing two brackets they belong to. And let's move things a bit backward here. Let's remove this line. Now, the thing is we're on the profile page. So we don't have a test ID per se because we are not looking for any test ID, uh, particular test here. So let's change this to user ID because that's what we do have. So user ID, user ID. However, the query is correct because we are looking for submitted one and marked one and uh, we don't want to limit one so let's remove limit one we want to get as many of those tests as possible and what else um, so the result is inside a so let's change a i'm going to oh this is not good so we need to supply this user id so let me change this first to user so it's user id and then the id is just id the reason it's just ID is because remember this ID is supplied at the very top of the page here in the this area right there and that ID is the user ID because this is a profile page so that's the user ID and now I can copy this 
let me change that to answered uh, tests. Yes, that makes more sense. This one should be tests. Okay, so we read the tests and if they are correct, here what we're doing is getting the details. So let me show you what I mean here. Let me mute this and let me mute that here like so. And we need a data row here. So uh, the row is, this is the row for the profile information but for the tests this is what it uh, it was doing here so it's expecting test rows so let's just copy that from what we had muted there and let's put it down here and let's set it to this one marked because that's our end result or maybe uh, answered tests yes uh, but marked is here mm -hmm. No, let's set it to marked. Let me put it there, like so, because that's the end result. But let's see what we get right here. So I'm just going to do a show like that. So we're supposed to get that row from here. So you see this row has this information. But let's refresh. Okay, so undefined variable tests on line 95. Where is that? 95. Oh, tests here. Okay, so I think I removed, let me go back to marked here, marked. Uh, this is the one right here. Let me just use S there. So copy that and this is the model, by the way. We're trying to use the model without instantiating it. So let's say tests like that. Okay, so let's, let's refresh. Okay, good. Now, as you can see, this is the role of the, this, of the answered test, but there's a user row here that's added automatically because the model uh, requests it re requests it every time we read from the database. So at least we have the user information of the student who actually wrote this test. But the, we need more information because if we go to marked here and see, we need to know a little bit more. For example, what is the test name itself and who marked it? and uh, what is the answer ratio and score blah 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 so these things uh, are the ones that we need to retrieve from here so let me luckily the code already exists so let's do this and uh, now i want to echo what's inside marked once we are done with this so just by removing that that should suffice if i go back now you can see we have the test details, okay, boom. And these are the details of the actual test. So who wrote the test, right? Uh, and what class does it belong to in case we need that information? And these are the test details like the test name itself, its description, date, etc., etc. So this is useful information, at least we have it now. So I can remove this and yes now the only problem is we are only doing this for the first item in here because this is answered tests and this is just the very first item so instead of that let's use a loop instead because we're expecting multiple results from this so i will copy that and put it here now the the fact that we're using a zero here means we do need the key so let's replace zero with key instead so let's paste that here and then we need the whole thing to be inside the for each loop so i'll move this down here move these things inward you can remove this code and uh, yes that uh, should suffice so it shouldn't change anything here refresh uh-huh so now at least I am seeing something down here, even though there are a lot of errors, but at least I know I have the right information. So this is good. So in the next video, let's fix these errors here. I will be right back.